everybody. I hope you got through your night and made it through the morning feeling motivated and encouraged, optimistic, enthusiastic. Positive and love from above. Another day, another way. Feeling the way about yourself. You need to reevaluate your circumstances, understand where you're at in life, and make a change. You have a choice to make a change. Now, I want to elaborate on something. Um, I went to two different types of schools for a reason because I am the greatest. I am the greatest motivation leader there ever was and will be. I went to personal uh, training school because I feel as though physical growth and knowing the internal as well as the external is very important of the human body, anatomy, so forth. I feel as grooming yourself, keeping yourself well kept. Looking good daily has a cause and effect on your mindset as well. So physically, um, you're not going through the world trying to impress people, but you should go through the world trying to impress yourself. You should feel good about yourself every day. You should feel good about how you look. You should good, feel good about what you do, how you do it, where you do it, why you do it, with who you do it with, if anyone. You should, your appearance should be acceptable anywhere you go, you know? Like I said, it's not that you're trying to impress people. You should want to impress yourself every day with how you look and not walk around looking like a caveman and looking like a wildebeest. You know what I mean? So you can understand the worth of who you are uh, externally as well as internally. You know what I mean? You got to keep yourself on a, not a health plan per se, but eat somewhat of good foods to keep yourself going. So you have the energy on a day in, day out basis. So you can go above and beyond any and all expectations. So you can feel good about what you're doing when you wake up before you go to bed and you're not completely exhausted. Because if you're eating garbage every day, you're not gonna feel good inside. Your body's not gonna have the momentum it should have. If you don't feel good physically, you're not working out, you're overweight, you're underweight, or you don't, you don't have the strength to do the things you wanna do, you need to fix that. You need to work on that. You don't have to be some health fit, guru you don't have to be some nutritious nut you don't have to be some world renowned competitor you just gotta want to take care of yourself physically mentally and spiritually now i went to uh, personal training school for those reasons because i'm big on the body i'm big how it helps the mind grow as well it helps you understand yourself on a whole nother level now i'm also big on grooming yourself keeping yourself well kept i try to do that the best i can daily you know always brush your hair always comb your hair Always cut your hair. Always keep yourself well groomed. I don't care if you're growing out a beard, just to um, you know follow the trends or whatever. Keep it groomed. Keep it well kept. Keep yourself well kept. You know, I don't care about what people think of me. I don't. You know what I mean? But I do care about what I think of me when I see myself. Am I presentable? Am I approachable? Am I? Uh, do I feel good because I look good? You know, etc. Now I went to school, and these things—they were hard schools. They were not easy. That board exam that most people fail in barbering school, that is a hard exam. It's a lot of medical terminologies that are within that test that are consistent of that test. Um, the same thing with personal training. That is a hard school. Four and a half months, five days a week, eight hours a day, full-time school and personal training. It's about the human anatomy. There is a lot of medical terminology and definitions that you have to know in order to pass that course. We started out with, I believe, 15 or 16 people. We ended up with nine. So between, and that was personal training school. Barbering school, we started out, I believe, with, um, in my class, it was like 10 or 11 people. We ended up with four. And from what I understand, I'm the only one that passed that test. Not to dumb, no, not to speak bad on anybody or dumb anyone down. I'm talking about the people that got in when I got in. No, mind you, there was a mixture of classes between because they take people every Monday. There was a mixture of people that were before me and came after me. So I'm sure there are other people that passed as well. But that test was so easy. It was ridiculously easy because I knew I was going to pass it. I knew that without a doubt I was going to pass that test and I studied I studied hard for it because I wanted it now there are people that said that have said instructors that I heard say that test is very hard it is meant to make you fail so you go back and take it again that's because they failed the first time going around not that I'm not speaking about anybody directly I'm speaking in general but <laughs> there was some people that said that that test is hard a lot of people failing it's only hard because we make it hard and we expect to go take a test without studying just because you went through nine ten months of a class it doesn't mean you're gonna pass the test you have to apply yourself instruction and practice is the idea of what you're doing day in day out you got to build your mind for whatever's to come and don't ever think it's gonna be structured in one way or another it's a conjunction of everything I got a license to be a master barber I can deal with color lighting um anything that does deals with chemicals now the reason I'm posting this 
is, and not, is because I see people going through all these classes or not going through nothing at all and not applying themselves. Understand this, man. It doesn't matter about the next man. It doesn't matter who is or who isn't there. It's about what you want, what you're driven to do, what you're inspired to do, what you're motivated to do, what your passion, your purpose is in this life. Don't go to school because this is what the trends want or this is what the um, career development world expects you to be in. Go whatever it is you want to go to because you want to go there and you want to be something more in that particular field. Remember, anybody that reads at least one book a month and that chosen field will be among the five experts within five, I'm sorry, I said that wrong, within 5% of experts within five years in that particular field. Remember that and don't dumb yourself down for anyone. Study, read, write, continuously chase after instruction and practice, grind. Be powerful beyond measure. Direct and influence the behavior of yourself and the behavior, uh, direct and influence the course of your behavior and others as well. Understand the importance of what you're doing when you apply yourself. It's not gonna come easy, but it gets easier along the way. It always starts off hard because we don't know what we're doing. You, When you buy something, when you buy a tool, if you're not familiar with that tool, what do you have to do? Read the instructions. When you buy a chemical, when you buy a chemical that you have to mix things with, what do you do? Read the instructions, but after you become familiar with it, once you understand the idea of it, you start knowing how to do these things, but as times change, you gotta read the instructions. You gotta go through a continual instruction and practice. Now, if you don't do these things, you're not gonna grow. But if you keep pursuing happiness, pursuing your dream, pursuing your idea, pursuing the relentless idea of who you're supposed to be, don't stop. Remember, I am the greatest man that ever lived. I am phenomenal. I am possible. I am instruction. I am practice. I am direction. I am an influence. I am a gorilla. I am power. I am passionate. I am everything that I've ever wanted to be because I am. I am who I say I am because that's who you are. Be blessed, everybody. Have a great day and don't settle for less than what your worth is. Deuce, GPT 360, I'm out.